Anyone in the cattle business, whether you are a beef producer or a dairyman, will encounter times when you want an animal to move forward, such as in a handling or loading chute, and unfortunately, the animal refuses to step forward. Often, we can use our positioning, our voice, and even our touch to get the animal to move forward. But there will be times when none of those techniques will work, and we'll need some way to apply more pressure to get them to move forward. It's one of the reasons why people have used whips, sticks, and stock bras to help get cattle to areas they do not want to go. But those devices can be misused, and the use of those tools can be viewed as inhumane if used excessively and cause bruising. For those reasons, the industry has adopted alternatives, such as cattle rattles and plastic devices, meant to scare cattle rather than cause them pain. But what are the options when an animal refuses to move forward? One useful method is to grab the animal's tail, one third of the way down, and twisting it just a little beyond its natural movement so that the pressure is applied on the vertebrae in the tail. The natural response of the animal will be to move away and move forward and try to escape the pain. Applying a tail twist properly to encourage forward movement is technically a form of negative reinforcement, just like training a horse to stop by pulling back on the reins. As soon as the horse stops, the pressure on the reins are released. As soon as a cow steps forward while you are twisting its tail, you should stop. If you don't release the tail when the animal steps forward, you run the risk of two things happening. One, the animal doesn't learn to step forward when you twist the tail. And two, you end up applying more and more pressure and more twisting, which can potentially lead to a broken tail. The best analogy is to think of the tail as the ignition switch, not the accelerator or the steering wheel. As soon as you get the desired effect, the start of the animal to move forward, you should release the tail, even if the animal is only giving you a half a step forward. The next time, you may only get another half step or a whole step. But by the time you've twisted a tail three to five times and released it immediately after the animal begins forward motion, then the animal will have learned that not stepping forward will result in some pain. Within the distance of five to 10 feet, you can train a naive animal how to step forward when you ask for it, if you apply the tail twist properly. It's incredible how quick they'll learn how to avoid the twist by stepping forward. The proper application of a tail twist and release is a simple, effective, and humane way to teach cattle to step forward when required of them and is a benefit to both cattle and people.